one. What memories of Easter do you have at Granada? I remember the Easter egg hunt and my brother Cameron would hide Easter eggs with the rest of the youth group and then I would go search for them. What's your favorite part of Easter? Well, I like that memory too. I also like the memory of being able to arrive at church on Easter morning and proclaim, He has risen! He has and, risen indeed. Yes. I like that second part, Audrey, uh, because it really proclaims the true meaning of Easter. You know, if there really was no resurrection, there is no good news. I remember one time uh, when Luca was three years old and we had just uh, had breakfast and we explained to him what is what the story of Easter is and how Jesus died on the cross and resurrected and that we you know can believe in him and profess our faith in him and then uh, he, f he finished the talk by saying daddy and then we do this right which meant uh, to be baptized and so I looked at uh, my wife and we just like so surprised and, and pleased we you started bawling and crying what does Easter mean to you? Easter means an empty tomb. Easter means to me new life. Chocolate egg. Chocolate bunny. Well, Easter means happiness and freedom to me because um, everyone was happy okay. so, when Jesus so. resurrected and yeah. I am too. And um, I'm happy because we would all be dead if Jesus hadn't died for us. So we have the freedom now to be alive. Every Easter, I remember I would always be dressed up and I would bring one of my dolls, like either an American Girl doll or a baby doll to church because it was Easter, so it was a celebration. And then uh, we'd be in the fellowship hall and we'd do the resurrection eggs and different kids were asked to like read like what was inside the egg. Like maybe there'd be three pieces of silver and you'd read what the significance of that was. So I always loved participating in that. And then afterwards we get to go to the playground where we do the big egg hunt with all of our friends and that was a really special time for me in Granada growing up. When I was like 12 or 13, I think, uh, I was asked by the, the great Bill Schaefer to uh, play in the orchestra. And uh, it was a really exciting uh, moment. Uh, I got to play percussion, keyboard percussions, which was really fun for me. And I remember um, somehow I had missed the memo that the entire orchestra was wearing concert black. <laughs> So I, uh, in Easter fashion, I showed up in a white suit with a blue shirt on. <laughs> and there I was sitting in a sea of, of concert black, which is me in my white suit. I had no other option. So uh, that was a lot of fun. Last Easter, I was actually at sea working on a cruise ship. And I remember that being a really weird Easter for me because it was the first time in my life that I, that I can remember at least um, that I was not at church for Easter, that I wasn't with family. And so I remember just feeling really isolated and separated and um, just missing my, my church community and missing uh, my friends and my family. And it, and it was a weird experience. Um, and I think to now to this Easter, and that's kind of the emotions that many of us are feeling right now is isolated and separated and, and disconnected. Uh, but I love that Easter is really a time for us to remember the resurrection of Jesus and what that means for us, that we can now uh, have an eternal relationship with God and that that is something that nothing can separate us from. No isolation, no social distancing can separate us from the love of God. Easter means, Easter means Jesus died in the cross for our sins. Easter memories. And so, you just find the eggs on every table. Uh -huh. And what do you do with the eggs? Yeah. Put them in the basket. Noah. What do you do with the eggs? What do you do? Put the basket. My favorite memory of Easter from when I was little was that my mom would do an Easter egg hunt for us, but instead of collecting eggs, she would give us a clue at the beginning, and each clue was a rhyming couplet that led to the next clue. And at the end of, you know, the 10 clues, uh, there'd be a chocolate bunny. And I remember one Easter, um, we, I got a white chocolate bunny, and I really didn't like that. <laughs> uh, my first Easter in Granada, and this was a couple years before I moved to Miami, I was down here on a work trip, and um, I remember having such a wonderful time. I remember the service being really beautiful, um, full of people, uh, shoulder to shoulder, everybody dressed in colorful clothes. 
and we sang songs and it was such a joyful memory for me. Um, I know that this Easter we won't be able to be shoulder to shoulder in the sanctuary, uh, but the good news of Jesus' resurrection is just as true as ever. And um, in these days we are remembering that uh, He is with us and uh, we're taking comfort uh, in this time to know that He cares for us. Happy Easter. Happy Easter.